Hello everyone, welcome back to Bio Blinkers. Today, I'll be discussing about a very important topic that is lap operon. As you know, that gene regulation at transcriptional level in prokaryotes was elaborated by a model called operon model. So, before I proceed with the topic, let me ask you one question. Whether lac operon is monocystronic or polycystronic? So, the correct answer is polycystronic. As the name suggests, poly means many and cystronic is a segment of DNA which gives rise to functional protein. Another name of cystronic is structural gene. A prokaryotic transcriptional unit is consist of a promoter, operator and more than one structural gene. That means in an operon model, many structural genes are present. Hence, we refer that in prokaryotic transcriptional unit carries information for more than one gene. Now let's discuss the operon model. It consists of three component regulatory gene, regulatory regions and structural genes. Now let's discuss the regulatory gene. As you know that to initiate the transcription of any gene, promoter is required. Similarly here also the regulatory gene has its own promoter. When the RNA polymerase 2 binds to the promoter of the regulatory gene, the transcription of the regulatory gene gets initiated and result in the formation of the regulatory mRNA. This regulatory mRNA undergo translation and result in the formation of the regulatory protein. The regulatory protein can either be an activator or repressor. Now, the regulatory regions are the sequence of the DNA where the regulatory protein binds and regulate the transcription of the structural genes. As I told you earlier, in an operon model, more than one structural genes are present. Structural genes are the one which codes for the functional protein and these protein acts as enzyme. Now let's discuss the lac operon. Here lac represent the lactose sugar. Let's say there are two medium, medium 1 and medium 2. In medium 1, lactose sugar is present whereas in medium 2, the lactose sugar is absent. Now you will observe lac operon is switched on only in medium 1 and not in medium 2 because in medium 1 the bacteria will produce the enzyme which are required to metabolize the lactose sugar. So lac operon will be active in bacteria present in medium 1 whereas the lac operon is inactivated in bacteria present in medium 2 because lactose is absent in medium 2. The transcriptional unit of lac operon is consist of the regulatory promoter, regulatory genes, lac promoter, lac operator and the three structural genes which are lac Z, lac Y and lac A. If lactose is absent in the medium, in that case the regulatory gene undergo transcription and result in the formation of lac mRNA. This lac mRNA undergo translation and result in the formation of the repressor protein. The repressor protein is active in the absence of the lactose. Now this active repressor protein will bind to the operator because of which the RNA polymerase 2 cannot bind to the lac promoter and the transcription of the three structural gene does not take place. Hence the lac operon is switched off in the absence of the lactose sugar. Now, when the lactose is present in the medium, in that case, the repressor protein will bind with the lactose sugar and form the repressor lactose complex. As lactose bind with the repressor protein, some conformation changes occur in the repressor protein because of which it will become inactive. Hence, this inactive repressor protein cannot bind to the operator as Operator is free, the RNA polymerase 2 will bind to the lac promoter and initiate the transcription of the three structural gene. The mRNA of the structural gene will undergo translation and result in the formation of the protein. These protein acts as enzyme. 
the lac z code for enzyme beta galactosidase lac y code for enzyme permease and lac a code for enzyme transacetylase these enzyme perform different function for example the beta galactosidase act on lactose sugar and cleave the lactose into two components galactose and glucose permease help in the transport of lactose sugar into the bacterial cell transacetylase help in detoxification of compounds now let me ask you one question whether lac operon is a inducible operon or non inducible operon so the correct answer is lac operon is a inducible operon as i told you earlier that lac operon is active only in the presence of the lactose sugar lactose act as a inducer so the operon is a inducible operon now tell me whether lac operon is a positive regulation or a negative regulation the regulatory protein can either be a repressor or activator if it is a repressor it will suppress the transcription if it is an activator it will enhance the transcription if the transcription is suppressed that means it's a negative regulation and if the transcription is enhanced that means it is a positive regulation so we can conclude that the lac operon exhibit both positive regulation as well as negative regulation now it's time for the fact did you know Let's say there's a medium which contain both glucose and lactose. In that case, the bacteria will first consume the glucose. As the concentration of glucose start decreasing, now the bacteria will start consuming the lactose sugar. It is easy to consume the monosaccharide. So, the bacteria will first consume the glucose over the lactose because glucose is a monosaccharide. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is informative and interesting for you. For more videos please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, share, comment and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any notification. Thank you and see you in the next video.